I'm Tempest, and welcome to the Wrestling News. With tonight's WWE Night of Champions set to feature a triple main event of Cody Rhodes vs. Brock Lesnar, Solo and Roman vs. Zayn and Owens, and Seth Rollins vs. AJ Styles, a common thread amongst these names is that they are all, with maybe the exception of Solo, fairly well-established stars. Talents such as these have been ones that the company has continuously relied upon in recent years. However, now there may be a major change afoot with perhaps this generation of performers beginning to be phased out for some new, much younger blood. Yes, according to Dave Meltzer in the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, there is currently a big internal focus on getting younger talent on Raw and SmackDown lately. While WWE has seen a ton of younger featured talent already, such as Austin Theory, Dominic Mysterio, and Rhea Ripley, there are a lot of older names still dominating the main event scene. Look at the world title qualifying match from a few weeks ago. Styles, Edge, Mysterio, the average age of that match was 48! While such stars as Styles, Edge, and Mysterio have openly spoken about not having much longer left in the ring, WWE is approaching the time when the next Roman Reigns and the next Seth Rollins should be earmarked, especially given their potential crossover into Hollywood in the near future. Yesterday it was reported that WWE may have some big money in the bank plans for Dominic Mysterio, so potentially this could be their first step in enacting this youthful shift. Thankfully, WWE has no shortage of hungry future stars in NXT. Just gotta wait for someone to grab the brass ring, pal. Speaking of brass rings, unfortunately in WWE, some talents unwavering popularity will be ignored or crushed, unless WWE themselves want them to get over. Let's take a look back, shall we? You got Zack Ryder, Cesaro, Damian Sandow, Rusev, Asuka, Bailey, Dolph Z We could be here for a while. At the moment, the current example of this, of course, is LA Knight. Yeah! And it's sad. Who has been consistently receiving top guy reactions for quite some time now, yet WWE have done absolutely nothing with it. However, as we've seen with guys like Ryder in the past, eventually fans can just take matters into their own hands and force WWE to listen. As seen in yesterday's Night of Champions press conference when Triple H was interrupted by the Jetta crowd, chanting for Night continuously. Now, according to Worked Wrestling on Twitter, reactions like this have not gone unnoticed, with them also mentioning once again that Knight has been discussed for a while now to be a potential candidate for the Men's Money in the Bank briefcase. Yeah! Now, early signs of this coming true look positive, with Knight being announced for a Money in the Bank qualifier next week with Montez Ford. However, it's quite hard to be totally sure if WWE will in fact pull the trigger or if they'll crush our spirits. Yeah. After all, on last night's pre-taped edition of SmackDown, they did quite obviously pipe in booze for Knight ahead of his match with Rick Boogs, which could be potentially perceived as them silencing the crowd's reaction. There is also the previous story to take into account. If WWE is in fact heading in a new youthful direction, LA Knight doesn't exactly qualify being a spry 40 years old. Right now, I'm taking the cautious optimism approach and hoping for the best. Yeah. Another top WWE star who is quite the Jetta favorite at the Night of Champions presser was Cody Rhodes, receiving an expectedly massive reaction as fans sang along to his Kingdom entrance song. Although he probably should be careful as that is in fact not his kingdom. Now it's no secret that Cody's popularity has hit another level since rejoining WWE last year, with him usually receiving the exact opposite of this kind of reaction week after week in AEW. Yet Cody's wife Brandy wanted to hammer home the fact that Cody clearly made the right choice, leaving Tony Khan's company, retweeting the clip of his reaction alongside the caption, and some people still say he should have stayed where he was. Maybe we should let that one go for now. While many initially feared Cody would immediately be rebranded as Stardust and punished for helping create the competition, instead, he has won the Royal Rumble, main evented WrestleMania, and become the biggest babyface in the company. Oh, and most of all, he avoided the entire CM Punk Elite all-out mess because we can't go a wrestling news episode without mentioning it. So yeah, everything's coming up Cody. Aside, of course, from the rubber chicken. Rampage in one minute? <laughs> Easy, one minute, one take, starts now. The acclaimed and father bollocks beat LFI, pinning Drellistico and maybe the, 
And maybe the Engobert Nobles will get back on track when Andrade comes back soon because these lads need some wins. Anthony Bowen set up a trios title match uh, with uh, the, the, uh, and the House of Black uh, have an open challenge at the pay-per-view, so we'll see. Ethan Page and the brothers butt beat three dudes, and then after the match, they said they took out Isaiah Cassidy, so the Hardys will have to go at it alone. The Hardys then came out and said they wouldn't need to do that because they have a partner, and Hook came out and they cleared the ring. God, I love Hook. I've already caught up with the prompter, and I can't exactly fix it this time. Britt Baker and Hikaru Shida beat Nyla Rose and Marina Shafir when Marina accidentally hurt herself by kicking the bottom rope with her bare foot in one of the sillier spots I've seen recently. And then Baker locked in the lockjaw for the win. However, there was a backstage. However, there was backstage treachery as the Outcast laid out Jamie Hayter, and I sure hope she's able to wrestle at double or nothing because goddamn, her wrestling matches on pay per view have been great. Keith Lee and Dustin Rhodes found out that the moguls were going to be in the battle royal and they said I bet and then something happened hurry up prompter and then we got the main event of Lee Moriarty and Big Bill beating best friends friendship dies Sue would be disappointed after the match all the battle royal people brawled as the show went off the air god damn if I'm ready to see Keith Lee and Swerve Strickland blow this off with a pay-per-view singles match already that's one minute one take I actually I think I no, I didn't do that one in one minute I was trying to time myself, but it's fine. Right, one man show today. Hot tag to me for SmackDown. Thanks, me. SmackDown kicks off with the United States Championship match as Austin Theory retained the title against Sheamus. Sheamus had the upper hand for a good portion of the match, hitting something even funnier than 24 chest blows. Lay it on me. 25. <laughs> Just as Sheamus was winding things down, Pretty Deadly brawled with the brawling brutes, distracting Sheamus and letting Theory roll him up. This was fine, I suppose, and I guess it really isn't fair to compare the two too much, but I do look at how much less important Sheamus challenging for the US title is compared to the IC title, and it makes me long for the sweet, delectable presence of Walter. The Bloodline is backstage, and Paul Heyman tells the Usos that they are welcome to attend Roman's 1,000 day celebration next week, and Jimmy stands up and says he doesn't even know what Roman's problem is. Roman tells him to sit down, and he doesn't, so Roman gets in his face and very calmly tells him to do something, because he whooped them as kids, and he'll whoop them now before Jay ushers Jimmy out. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I must talk to you about a very serious situation, a development that has ravaged SmackDown over the past 12 months, Tag Team Amnesia. Tag Team Amnesia once again rears its ugly head, this time causing Raquel Rodriguez to once again find herself teaming up with a completely random partner, this time Shotzi. I know they did a thing on Raw, I don't care. I have spoken to Dr. Sigmund Fraud, and he will be trying to get to the bottom of the cause of this condition immediately. Raquel and Shotzi beat Bailey and Io Sky in a pretty straightforward match, as the story here was Raquel and Shotzi rebuilding their chemistry while damage control continues to fall apart. The finish all came down to a miscommunication spot between Bailey and Sky, allowing Raquel and Shotzi to pick up the win. Cameron Grimes then beat Ashante the Adonis in a very short match. Top Dollar swept Grimes' legs, allowing Adonis to get a very brief heat segment, but Grimes quickly fought back and hit the cave in for the win, only to be attacked after the match by Baron Corbin because it wouldn't be a call up without a first feud with Baron Corbin. Couldn't just have it be one match. Bianca Belair said she would retain the Raw Women's Championship at Night of Champions, and Asuka's music hit and she attacked Bianca from behind, putting her in a cross arm breaker, and security and agents tried to break up the brawl. Again, pretty straightforward stuff. Now I was gonna let this nonsense go, but considering LA Knight came out for this next match and was greeted to a big ovation and then immediately faded down and replaced with stock booing, the crowd noise on this show was a disaster. Throughout the show, you would have a line in a backstage segment met with three seconds of intense boos and then silence and loads of shots. Like the crowd like, BOO! BOO! I thought it was inoffensive, and then it kept going to the point that it offended me. LA Knight beat Rick Boogs with the BFT after an eye rake. While the Street Profits were on commentary and after the match, my word, the promo that LA Knight cut. He said that he would make change out of the Street Profits $5 asses, and they say they want the smoke, but they're gonna get smoked by LA Knight. Yeah! 
Karrion Cross then thankfully didn't call AJ Styles Allen, but said AJ shouldn't be worried about Seth Rollins, but about what condition he would be in for this title match after facing Cross tonight. They then did a wrestle and Styles had fairly little trouble taking down Cross, but did so with the help of Meechin, who even the odds against Scarlett. I feel like Cross has been in a bit of a holding pattern, where he's just involved in these three week feuds, where he spends a couple weeks talking spooky bollocks, and then loses one match, and I don't really know exactly what it's doing for him. He did the Nakamura feud and went nowhere, and now he's done this. And then we had our main event segment as Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn hosted the KO show with Roman and Solo Sokoa. But before they could arrive, the Usos came out and Jimmy said when it comes to those titles, they are the tribal chief. This brought Roman Reigns out who was really, really, really happy. Oh sorry, he was pissed. He immediately slapped the microphone out of Jay's hand and then Jimmy's hand and Sammy said that the bloodline is crumbling and it's all Roman's fault. Roman slaps the mic out of Sammy's hand and Owens hits him with a stunner. They all brawled for a bit and Solo Sokoa in particular was the difference maker laying out Kevin Owens and Sammy Zayn and Jimmy picked up the tag belts and wouldn't hand them to Roman until Jay ripped them away from him as Roman held up all four tag belts as the show went off the air. Every day we get a step closer to this. Horrifying, isn't it? And that was SmackDown. Overall, a pretty standard show, really. A good go-home angle for the tag match at Night of Champions, but not really much of anything else to get people excited for the pay-per-view. I wasn't like watching this show frowning by any means. There just wasn't much that I'll remember in a week's time. This SmackDown gives a three out of five. And that just about wraps things up from me. Make sure, of course, that you tune into our live reactions today for Night of Champions as we're doing another live watch along. Yay, fun, we love doing these. And if you're coming tonight, I can't wait to see you there. Until then, I'm Tempest, and that was Snack Ass. Boo! Boo! Boo is boo! Oh. <laughs> Maybe don't use all of that.